Hello and welcome to Computer Active TV. My name is Tim Smith and today we're going to take a look at adding a Blu-ray drive to your computer. Now Blu-ray is the successor to DVD and it has a couple of big advantages. The first is that you can use it to watch high definition movies on your computer. This is quite a demanding task so we do recommend taking a look at the Cyberlink Blu-ray Advisor program that you can download from our website using the link below. This will test everything else in the computer and make sure that it's up to the task. The other advantage, and this is worth spending a little bit of extra money on, is to use the Blu-ray drive for backups. Each disk holds 25 gigabytes of data, which is a lot more than equivalent DVDs. So your backup should be completed faster and need fewer disks. Now there are two kinds of Blu-ray drive, and this refers to the connector at the back. You can either get them with the older PATA connector, which uses a wide ribbon cable, or, as we've got here, the newer SATA connection. Now, unless you don't have any SATA ports on your motherboard, we recommend going for SATA. It's faster and it's easier to fit. The other thing you may need for this is a screwdriver if your case requires screwing the drive in. Now, the case we've got here doesn't need that. It's got these special locking devices here but it may be that you'll need to screw the drive into place. Now, the first step is to remove the blanking plate in front of where we want to install the drive. Now, it might be that you've already got a drive installed in the computer, and in this case we have, but only the one. It might be that you've got two drives, in which case we recommend removing the lower spec one. Now, most of the time this is fairly easy to do. There should be a catch on the inside and just press it and then push the blanking plate out. And you can put this on one side as we won't need it again. Next we're going to unlock the uh, catch that holds the drive in place and then simply slide the drive into the slot. Now you can see here there are some screw holes uh, on top of the, uh, the drive bay and we want to line those up with the holes that you can find on the drive. Then we're going to put this in place so that it fits in the holes, twist it round and the drive is now locked in place. Now we need to connect the drive to the motherboard. Now there are two cables you need for this. There's the data cable and the power cable. Now on our computer we've got a selection of four SATA sockets, two of which are already in use. So we're just going to plug the table into the newest, next available one and then plug the other end into the drive. Now as we've said before, one of the nice things about SATA is that the drive connector is keyed slightly here. There's a little lip and that means that it's impossible to put the table in the wrong way around. If it doesn't seem to be going in, don't force it. Remove the table, have another look and try again more gently. Finally, we need to deliver some power. Now, it might be that your power supply already has a power connector like this on the end of the cables. Ours is a slightly older model, so it doesn't, and so you can use an adapter like this. Simply find a spare Molex connector here and plug it in. Again, this is teed, so you can't get it in the wrong way. Let's push them together and then plug the socket into the back of the drive. And there it is, it's all fitted and ready to go. Now in terms of using it to read data from disks, you don't actually need any extra software in Windows, it will pick it up as an ordinary drive. But if you want to watch high definition movies or write to the disk, you will need some extra software and they should have been supplied in the box with the drive and we've got ours here. Simply pop it into the new drive and follow the instructions that appear on the auto run dialog. If you want the full text of this workshop you can find it using the link below and hopefully this has shown you how you can add an extra drive to your computer that makes backing up easier and gives some enjoyment with high definition movies. This has been Tim Smith for Computer Active TV.